Vape Man Dan here. And uh, you may be wondering what's up with the hat. I know, it's sweet. Uh, if you want one, you can get them. Uh, I don't know, I got it at a shop down in Myrtle Beach. Uh, it's uh, pretty sweet. So, but the reason I'm wearing it today is we've got a review going on tonight. And tonight we're going to be reviewing a mod called the Orachi. Okay, now Orachi made me think of mariachi and maraca and all kinds of fun festive things. So I said, you know what? It's a, a fun festive hat. I had it sitting next to the vape station. Uh, I put it on and uh, that's what uh, we're going to be doing the review. So our review tonight, as I mentioned, we've got the Orachi mod, which is by uh, Rye Vapes. And I may be saying that incorrectly, R-A-I-V-A-P-E-S. Uh, you can see serial numbers written on there. These are serialized. This is serial number 222. Uh, and uh, shout out to Sharky for letting me borrow this to do a review. Uh, so I really want to take a look at this. We've got a, a group buy going on right now in uh, vape trading and group buys. Uh, I'll have to go double check the price. And I think they're coming in at like 160 shipped, I, I think is, is, is what they're going at. Uh, and I said, you know what, I, I kind of want to get my hands on it and see what it's like. Uh, it already looked like a cool mod, but uh, I, I really just wanted to get my hands on it and feel it. So uh, Sharky said, you know what, I've got one. Um, I'll let you uh, check it out and, and see what you think. And uh, now I'm really jazzed about this thing. So let's go ahead and dive right in. First thing that I noticed uh, when I uh, uh, took this out of the box was just how well uh, the machining is on it. Uh, it's it's really, they've done a quality job machining it. Uh, it feels good. Uh, it vapes good. I mean, you, it's definitely a solid mod. It's not as heavy as, say, a Poldiac. Uh, it's not as light as titanium, uh, but it's got, a, it's got a nice weight to it. The switch, very comfortable, uh, very easy throw. It's a soft spring, okay? Uh, so it's very easy on the pinky. Very easy on the pinky, but when I set it down, no issue. It's not firing on me. It's not giving me any problem, okay? It's not giving me any problem at all. A couple other things I noticed about this is the finish on it. It is a brushed finish. You know, I'll put it here next to a uh, polished finish. You can see it's definitely a brushed finish, but it's a light brush. Uh, it is not horizontal. It is not vertical. It's kind of this uh, neat, like, diagonal brush to it, which kind of goes along with, you can see the, uh, it's kind of hard to see here, uh, you can see the logo here kind of goes up at this angle. That is the uh, angle that the, the finish is. Uh, it's just a nice little brush. You can see it's got these little uh, fin here, uh, gill fin type uh, air holes, vent holes for your battery venting. Uh, and it's got a nice little uh, brass accent at the top and at the bottom. So you've got a brass top cap, uh, you've got a brass locking ring. And since we're pointing out the locking ring, let's go ahead and talk about the locking ring. Okay. Uh, this is a very unique locking ring. Uh, you can see I'll just sit here and spin it and nothing happens. Nothing's going on with that lock ring. I'm just spinning it, spinning it, spinning it. I can spin it the other way. It's not a reverse threaded lock ring. Um, I can just spin it all day and nothing's going to happen. Watch this though. I pull it down and spin it. And now it's locked. Go figure. <laughs> and then it's got a little spring. That's it. You just untwist it a little bit and it pops right up. Now you'll notice when I lock it again there, I didn't have to uh, go very far, okay? That was almost a complete turn, okay? Boom, there we go. Now, if I bring it back a little bit and let go, when I bring it back down, I only have to go a little bit. If I just barely bring it back and let it go, I'm gonna have to go around um, just over, yeah, right at a complete turn there. Uh, but if I bring it back a little bit, when I bring it back down, it doesn't have to go far. Uh, that's the only kind of wonky thing that I, I, I saw about it. Uh, it sits in there really well, so I didn't have any, I have not had any issue with putting it in my pocket and it coming unlocked, uh, but just very solid there. And vapes really well. So 
So a couple of things that we're going to go through on here. What comes in the box? You get your box. Inside your box, you've got an 18350 tube and you've got an 18650 tube. There is an 18490500 tube being made. It is not finished with production at this time. It will be available in the future. Okay, you've got your top cap. Okay, now in here you can see our contacts here are copper, and that's all the way through. Your contact pin there is uh, your positive contact pin is copper. This is a telescopic pin. Okay, it screws out, it screws in. Okay, now you notice the actual connecting pin for your atomizer is not telescopic. That actually moves in and out this whole piece will come out I've not had any issue with that but it'll slide right in and then when you screw in your atomizer this will push out so that it sits flush bottom cap okay this whole assembly is going to come out this is your switch assembly here okay again copper contact on your negative okay then you've got your Rye Vapes and Orachi uh, names there with a uh, snake uh, eating itself going around in that circle there and your serial number uh, yeah you can yes these are serialized okay uh, it's not a very long throw it's a it's a fairly I'm not gonna say it's a short throw it's kind of a medium throw uh, very very pleasant to use very comfortable to use uh, it does have vent holes in the switch as well so you've got actually two sets of vent holes there okay uh, and uh, that's what's in your box. You got your two caps and your two tubes. All right, so now let's talk about some uh, other interesting things. This was very exciting for me. Who knows what this is? That's right. This is a BBM, Bare Brass Mods bottom cap. This is off of a Lycan uh, 18650. Check this out. You know where I'm going with this. Boom. Look at that. Got our 510 cap here from the BBM. You've got your 20X1 threading. I just wanted to uh, re-record uh, this section of the Orachi review. I have my uh, volt drop meter here. Some people call this a tankometer, tankometer, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, we're going to rerun the voltage test using this instead of a multimeter. So let's go ahead and screw this on here. We'll take a quick reading and we're coming in at 4.12 volts. 1.1 ohms on the Russian here. And we are coming in uh, with that. We are coming in at 3.88. So I'm going to write that down. 4.12 to 3.88. Here, let's grab the uh, Nemesis. And I'm going to take 4.10. Okay. Three point seven four. Well, guys, there you have it. On the Orachi, we started with a voltage of four point one two, and under load, we were getting three point eight eight volts to the atomizer. Uh, and with the Nemesis, okay, again, that was for the Orachi. For the Nemesis, we started with a voltage of four point one, and a final voltage under load of three point. Seven four, so the drop under load for the Orachi was 0.24 volts. The drop for the Nemesis under load was 0.36. There you have it. 20x1 threading, solid machining, excellent voltage drop, and the price, guys, is, I mean, sh I think co coming in shipped. Now, again, you know, we're running it on a group by retail on this uh, is, uh, I think I, I saw it at a shop, which was actually overseas, was uh, 175 plus your international shipping. Um, I haven't seen it at a shop here in the States yet. Uh, so 
as 160 shipped to the doors, I think the price on the group buy, you have to check out the, uh, the uh, Facebook page uh, to 100%, uh, uh, but I'm pretty sure it's right at 160 shipped, so it's like 150 plus, you know, shipping and fees somewhere, you know, right around there. It's just a freaking sweet mod. I'm really, like, jazzed about this, and I think that shows... Uh, Again, you got your copper contacts. Just quick overview one last time. Copper contacts. You've got 20x1 threading, uh, sweet lock ring, spring loaded there, excellent voltage drop, uh, smooth switch. Uh, it's got a much smoother switch than the Nemesis, and I do have magnets in my Nemesis also. Just a, a fun little mod, a uh, nice little mod, performs well, feels good, looks good, vapes good. Uh, so yeah, Arachi, there you go. I'm going to keep vaping it, and uh, you guys uh, enjoy your vape for the night. Have fun. We'll see you next time.